Thank you for watching our Brazilian TV community newscast for December 23, 2022. Hosted in English and in French by Jogging Book. Sponsored by Raising Plumbing and Heating. Offering fantastic deals for water heaters and furnaces. We start this newscast in Edmonton with Edmonton Police Service Chief Dale McPhee. Talking to Diversity Magazine during the end of the year interview on December 15 about diversity and inclusion in the police and what is coming up in 2023. Fiber, it's our DNA, and as you and I have talked about before, diversity is not just race or gender, it's also thinking and to celebrate that. And, you know, right from recruiting and seeing some of the recruit classes, I think we had eight countries in this, this uh, recruit class that's coming through right now and uh, from all over the place, you know. We have a lot of uh, over 50% uh, from an underrepresented community. I think it's 57 or 58% uh, in our recruit class of 40 people. So we continue to put the effort in recruiting and then we also are trying to build a, a development program which we've started at the constable level and certainly we have some crucial conversations at the sergeant staff sergeant level as more of the management level. And then of course, uh, we're actually, as you get to the executive director uh, or inspector above, we're looking at some entering and some coaching. So, uh, so we built a bit of a comprehensive program. The whole thing is to increase our diversity, but also to uh, give people the opportunity to succeed within our organization. In Calgary, it's year end in the black community in Calgary. The Calgary African Community Collective CACC held its end-of-the-year grassroots leaders appreciation night. At the event, many leaders presented summaries of their programs, successes, stories of 2022, challenges, opportunities for growth, collaboration, and many more. Deputy Minister of Trade and Immigration, Professor Ako Ufudike, speaking to the leaders, encouraged them to keep the unity being seen among black-led leaders in Calgary. He stressed the need to make these programs known to the larger Calgary community, as well as Albertans, so that those in critical need can find help within the shortest possible time. Co-chair Reverend Machior addressed the need for a wider needs assessment consultation as CACC is moving towards implementing an aggressive agenda of systems shift for grassroots organizations, the African way. You can check out CACC and register to become a member at www.kagariafrican.ca. In business news, need a unique present these holidays? Consider Indigenous Artist Market coming up on December 23rd from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Downtown Farmers Market. The best and most unique Christmas present that Team Diversity got, ever got is the one from Jody Callahoo Stonehouse, who hosted the Indigenous Market at the St. Basil's Cultural Center in Edmonton. The arts market lasted from December 16 to 18, with many indigenous artists selling their works. Team Diversity got this special present in memory of missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. Many beautiful stories were being told in the form of art by the indigenous artists present, including Sabrina and Shelby Williams with their eye-catching sacred beating. Cultural performances and Christmas carols graced the stage during the two days Indigenous Christmas Market. Edmonton, Alberta and Canada. Soccer is another tool to gloriously put us on the global stage with support and investment in immigrant talents, a huge part of the equation. So let's talk. The FIFA World Cup has come and gone, but uh, there are three 
crucial lessons to take home. We can harness the power of immigration to gloriously put Canada on the global stage. A case study to learn from is France. This is even more important as Canada prepares to jointly host the 2026 FIFA World Cup with Mexico and the US. We saw glimpses of what the Canadian soccer team is capable of doing at the tournament that just ended. Now Canada, let's take it up a notch in 2026. France's second choice team, depleted by injuries, still made it all the way to the finals and dragged Lionel's Messi Argentina to penalty shootouts after winning the previous World Cup. Powered in part, in part by their contingent of players whose parents draw heritage beyond the borders of France. The investment and strategic support of soccer academies, clubs and young talents has definitely benefited France and is a lesson we can draw from in Edmonton, in Alberta, and in Canada. At a time where Edmonton FC, the only professional soccer club in Edmonton, is going out of business due to lack of investment, the growing number of soccer fans in Alberta and in Edmonton will pray that the same attention, support, and resources are invested in Edmonton. Hosting games in the 2020 season 2026 FIFA World Cup, which were unsuccessful, could be invested in the only club that can give our kids a professional soccer experience to develop their talents into champions right here in our beloved city of champions, Edmonton. For more community stories, please hop over to Alberta's largest multicultural publication right here on www.diversitymag. You're watching Community News on Diversity TV, and it's soon Black History Month. So, send your content or events for Diversity Black History Month 2023 special. Call 780-709-0965 or email info at diversitymag.ca. This Friday, December 23rd, 2022, Canavois will be providing fresh fruits and veggies. Should you want to pick up a free bag or have a big heart to volunteer, please go to www.canavois.org. Another development, Infinity Safety Awareness distributes free bread at 11.015 82nd Avenue, the back alley parking lot, every Sunday from 11 a.m. onwards. You are watching Diversity TV. Visit Luxury Spa and Hammam at the Elite Spa and Hammam on 3333 8th Street, Southeast Calgary. For more inspiring and exciting community stories, please go to www.diversitymag.ca. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And finally, the high-level bridge lights are lit every night with these special requests this week. December 19, teal and yellow for shine a light on anti-Semitism. December 25th, red and green for Christmas. For more information, please go to www.edmonton.ca. Thank you for watching Diversity TV Community Newscast. To enable us to keep bringing you this community's untold stories, please support Diversity TV by becoming a member today and get our members-only specials on, on www.diversitymag.ca. Be the first to get our community newscast as it happens, please subscribe and hit the notification bell on our Diversity TV YouTube channel. We're on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, 
And our website, as you know, is www.diversitymag.ca. So see you next week, because when it's Friday, it's your newscast from Diversity 